we've got that out of here. Now we'll go and put that in a spot where nobody will run over it. And we can put the rest of these cross members down. We've got one of the inspectors over here now from my uncle's farm. He came over to make sure we are doing things right here. Right, Brian? Right, right. Uh, yeah, it's one of my uncle's main guys here. What do they call you over there? Uh, farm show. They call him farm show because he's always going to all the farm shows. And Educational field trips. There you go. There you go. Nothing wrong with that, right? That's right. That's right. So this is my uncle's main guy right here. He's the, the he's he's John's best best player. Second best guy? man. Second, Second best, best man. man. Who's the best guy? I'll take your pick. Okay. All right. No, he's got all good help over there. All good help. <laughs> so are we doing things right over here? Or Look, what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, things get, going together here. The box truck, gets a stamp of yeah. approval. Yeah. yeah, good, good. Yeah, well, my initials are not wrong here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's going to teach me how to roll, bro? <laughs> Who's the best roller that can teach I got a Sharpie. You want to just use a, yeah, Sharpie, use a Sharpie instead? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Well, all righty. We better get back to it, right? All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, we are just getting things underway here today. We followed along in the last video. We laid this all out here yesterday. Now we're going to go ahead and get the cross members set in there. We've got the long cells marked where the cross member is going to go. And then when we put this together, we put four cross members in. I actually just set the third one back in there now. We set four cross members, got the rub rail on there, and we put the taillight panel on. And then now we have everything perfectly square and straight. Now we can just drop the cross members in. I've got them cut already. They're laying on this pallet here. We could just drop them in, put the line in front of the cross member, weld them down, and then we'll come in and we'll weld them to the rub rail. Set the sheet metal on, tack the sheet metal down, roll it over, weld the sheet metal to the cross members with it upside down. It's easier to weld uh, that way than it is to have it up on jack stands and be crawling underneath it and then once i get all the welding done underneath we'll clean it prep it for paint paint the underneath part of the flatbed then we can roll it back over and start the rest of the construction but that's a couple of days down the road or a day or two down the road here at any rate so I've been asked in some of the videos here, or some of the comments, I've been asked to show a little more as to what we're doing here. And then I get the comments that we're talking too much. So we'll show some of the process of setting the cross members in and so on and so forth. So we'll have at her here.
Well, we've got all the cross members in except this front one. I put the front one on after we put, or while we're putting the front sheet on. We start the sheets in the back and work forward. What we have left to do here is we have to weld the cross member to the rub rail. And uh, that's just a boring um, part of a video, so I won't even video that. But we've got to weld them and then we bring the forklift over the sheet metal, start cutting it and putting it into place. Okay, as you can see, we now have the deck on there, the, sh the sheet metal on the floor. We'll get it up on jack stands. I'm gonna run on a creeper down through and I'll put a single tack in three spots, the sides and the middle. And then we can roll this over. Let's get moving, right? You're gonna have to walk this deck to hold this floor down. In a couple of spots it should be all right but i like to walk it anyways as i'm tacking so we don't get any spots that are a whisker above the cross member so yep well we have all of our tacks made down through uh the cross member section here now we're going to go ahead and roll it over, we'll lift it up, get it to the tipping point, then let it tip over, get it upside down so that we can get at things a little easier. So this is the longest silage body I've built. I mean, not this particular one, but the, the length is the longest being 26 feet. And it's about as heavy as we're going to get as far as tipping one of these over so we're gonna have to make sure we're pretty careful here so that we don't tip the forklift over so the last body i did i ended up breaking my fork so i had to put another hole in there forks are getting a little thin
Well, that was uneventful. I wasn't quite hooked in the center. I guess I should have counted my cross members, but we were a little heavy on the uh, tail end. Now, if you might notice, I did not taper the sills. And the reason being, I want to put something thick across the back bottom side of that tail light panel just because it's a little light to be skidding it on the ground when you're sliding this on and off the rail system uh, this is for my uncle and we'll show you the truck it's going on here at some point in time but he wants to be able to take this box off and, and put a, a flatbed on so that's why we have made this a slide rail system body and then the one thing that uh, is different about this compared to the other body is we're wider between the sills here uh, where it goes on the truck frame. So we've got a bunch of welding to do. We'll get the welding done. Then we're going to pull this outside. And what we'll have to do is we'll have to get around the back side of that with the forklift. And we'll put the telehandler here. We'll carry it outside and then we'll raise it up and we'll wash it outside. The other one I washed next door, but it just took me a long time to get the floor squeegeed off and it was just a pain in the butt. So we'll end up washing this one outside so that we can, and then we'll have to bring it back in, put the paint on it and uh, the base coat and then the top coat of paint. And then once we flip this over, we haven't got to go in underneath it again with uh, paint. So we better get to welding here. Well, we're getting the welding underway here. We've got Andrew up front on that side. Alex is next to him and Sarah is right in front of us here. They've got a little bit of welding left to do on this flatbed. They're actually welding the seams together right now where the sheet metal pieces come together. We, we didn't do it on the other side this way, the, the, or the other body, we ended up welding on the top side. Well, this one, we're gonna weld it on the bottom. Then we won't have to weld the sheet metal seams together on the top. So they've got one sheet left. Uh, up there between uh, where Alex and Andrew are uh, to, to weld together and then that's just about gonna do it for the welding on this flatbed part then what we're gonna be able to do is carry this outside uh, put some degreaser on it and then spray it down with phosphoric acid bring it back inside let it dry out then um, we can put some paint get the the bottom side painted here so we'll join back up with you in a while here once we get done and uh, get it to the point where we can move it outside so Andrew and Alex this has been their first welding project here and they're doing pretty good Andrew he has some uh, some to He's got a little bit more to learn, but Alex has picked it up real well. She is doing real good. But we're running into an issue with this older 255. Um, we've got a trigger issue with it, and every once in a while the damn trigger uh, doesn't want to work the way it's supposed to. So um, he thinks he's getting the wire caught in the contact tip, but it's actually the... Uh, trigger losing contact so I've got to get a new a new one all it is is a contactor uh, style trigger this is the oldest welder we've got and this one is set up with an aluminum spool gun on it uh, when we get into doing some aluminum here and there manure pipes and whatever we can use this for that so like I said we will catch up with you in a little while here once we get on to this next step and Andrew's having trouble with that trigger again.
Well, we've got the welding all done now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag this outside, carry it outside rather. Hold up a minute. Let me uh, position this forklift in there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So we've got this um, all welded. Now we're gonna go ahead and carry it outside and get it washed. I gotta get in underneath it so that he can get underneath that end. Uh, up at the front here. Okay, now we're going to uh, lift it up so that it is vertical. Well, so that it's vertical on its side and then we can spray it off. And um, then we can bring it back inside. Now he's just gonna lift that up. Oh, you gotta lift up. Lift up. Then we'll have it vertical and then the water can run right off of it. I gotta keep him from going too high because we don't want it swinging. It's just about to the point where it's gonna tip. All right, back. Yeah, all right. Back up a little bit. Don't have it come over on you. Just lift up. We want it vertical. All right, telescope out so we got some room in between the machine and the... Just telescope out. Leave it down now. You'll have to go down at the same time, okay? Telescope out. Go down. Telescope out. 
Go down. That's good. Shut it off. All right, now we can spray that off with the cleaner and then uh, phosphoric acid. Well, we've got this all sprayed off, washed. Went through it with the phosphoric acid. That's why it's kind of turned white here now. And we moved it back inside. We used the forklift and the telehandler to kind of carry it inside. And then we've got it kind of held up with the telehandler now. And I'm just gonna let it sit in here for a few hours so it can kind of drip dry. And it needs to warm up a little bit before we can shoot it with paint. So that's going to do it for this video. We'll catch up with you with the next one. And uh, I got to get the paint on there, get it flipped back over. And then we need to add on to the 3x4 that we're going to use for the top rail and so on. Well, you'll see it in the next video. So what do you think of welding, Bob? You gotta get up on the top, get off your knees and welding on that floor, right? <laughs> yeah, just have the insulation. Well, do you want to sign off here? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll catch you at the next one.